tag it says Ken Doan original. The tag sa it says it is a legit. The fact that I can see your hairy little legs, Craig Zonker, is something that I should have prepared for on this Friday morning. Look, any excuse to get the pins out, I think, is a good day. This is a crop top. Live from Caboolture Historical Village on ABC Radio Brisbane, 23 minutes past six. Greg Radell is the manager of this spectacular site. Greg. Just talk to us about the history and the size of this place. Okay, Rebecca, uh, the site is actually just under 12 acres. Uh, there's 75 buildings, I think, at the present time, and uh, we're open seven days a week. This place has more nostalgia, everything from old cars to giant tree roots to gems to rocks to the original Caboolture Hospital. Where's it all come from? Oh, look, it's uh, been developing probably since uh, 1979, I think. It was when the council first approved uh, that it come here. Um, I know that's when the orders were signed for the road, for the roadworks, etc. And uh, it's just moved on from there. All done with volunteers. Um, they call it Dad's Army, uh, if I have the history correct on it. And, uh, you know, they've done the buildings, uh, just weekend stuff, and that's it's just fantastic. And uh, we're just reaping that legacy now actually we're very lucky and what it turns into is a treasure trove of history oh it does well we're pretty much standing beside what is this carriage from greg okay that's the spirit of the outback uh, it's a 1955 model uh it was refurbished once i think in its lifetime and we are developing that uh, uh, at the present time we've got power to it but not power into it so uh, it's a little bit of a headache with the wiring, but we're getting there, it's uh, understanding it. And a lot, when it comes to a, a historical village like this, becomes a, a labour of love for, I'm guessing you have an army of volunteers. We do, uh, look, anywhere between 135 and 150 volunteers each week, and uh, they come in and uh, do one, two days. You know, some of these people have been coming for a long time, I notice in the crowd over here, uh, uh, the chap called Hurst Bowers, and uh, he's been coming here for a long time. and. Uh, uh, he just he just loves the place, so, uh, and we're very lucky. We do have other groups come in. Uh, recently, we had uh, a group from MDA, and they came in and they helped us with the signs. Uh, here, we had uh, uh, groups from Perth who actually did this whole structure. Basically, the only thing they didn't do was put the roof on top. So. Uh, They've done all that work, so that's the sort of help we get to. And NDA is the Multicultural Development Association, who are going to be after 7 o'clock because they're really responsible for refurbishing Kendone's Australia sign. Uh, and I, we've got a group of people, apparently they call them the Bone Rattlers. I think that's the Genealogy Society, is it? Oh, um, <laughs> you're gamer than I am. Um, <laughs> I'm only saying what, uh, what, what Danny what, told what, me. What's buried underneath where we are? <laughs> I, I know why Danny said that, because uh, I think he might be married to one of them, but anyway, he's a gay man, so I'll, I'll leave that to him because I can see two of them from here. Well, so anyway. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Janet and Jane still wanted to talk to me. Ian's here from Antique Machinery, but I think later this morning we're going to meet a bloke who's got the biggest uh, Chevy collection in the country. Oh, I wouldn't say that, but his enthusiasm would be the greatest enthusiasm for Chevrolet. Well, we'll still say it's yeah. the biggest collection in the country. <laughs> Nothing like stretching the truth, just that look. Look, we're going back to the 80s. We, we're going bigger than Ben-Hur this morning about the Caboolture Historical Village and the fact that we're standing beside one of these signs, Greg. And when we first spoke to you a few months ago about these signs and they were stuck in a cow paddock, and then all of a sudden... Oh, donated to you. Did you go Bonanza or did you go oh, what am I going to do with these things? Uh, after a couple of weeks I probably thought what am I doing? Uh, I don't have anything else and I've wondered that for the last few months and I do remember giving a deadline which uh, not a lot of people believe and I think you might have been a doubter too at one stage. Uh, I'm sorry you proved me wrong that's for sure. I, I, well it's a little bit of a point. A gentleman, uh, one of our members the other day came up and uh, spoke to me and he said congratulations I didn't think it had a hope in hell. He's one of our society members. Sorry, John Mills. Uh, I won't pop you in it. But no, look, uh, we went down to the wire. The weather didn't help, but we've made it, so I'm very happy. Greg, who actually bought the signs and donated them to you? Um, yeah, I, I can drop them in it now because their name is actually on the plaque, which will be revealed on Sunday. Um, gentleman and his partner, uh, Jared Comerford, and his partner, Marshall Storm. Uh, actually did it and the interesting part of that story is that he didn't know that his family had a tie up in the village and when he told his mum she told him all about it. So it was Anne Owls, which is our, our building down there, plus they had family photos I believe 
up in uh, Glen Allen, the house just up there. So, uh, yeah, the, yeah. But essentially, you saw the signs on a Facebook page that a kid from a high school had put up. I'm going to meet that kid after 7 o'clock this morning. You said, hey, I'd be interested in them. But then Jared and Marshall have semi-anonymously purchased them and given them to you. Yes, up, up until recently, they, they didn't want me known. Um, and uh, so I didn't reveal, but I did ask Jared the other day if he didn't mind a couple of weeks ago. But why do they do it? Actually, uh, he's not here, but he said to me he just wanted to give something back to the community, they're both extra services, and that was his idea behind it. So uh, that's what he did, you know. Um, I don't know how much he paid, I've never asked him, to be honest. I don't think it's my business, but I have never asked him and he's never told me. So, I don't know what, what the figure was. But we look at them now and the great unveiling to happen today with the stack of signs. So it starts up with AUS at the top, TRA, and then the rest are always still under wraps, but it looks spectacular. That is why we're here today, Rebecca Livingston, Craig's uncle with you. Live from the Caboolture Historical Village, we're going back in time to 1950.